Okay, this is the last video in chapter three. This is a new article, article 371, which covers flexible bus systems. This is kind of a, an interesting product. You, you might think that you've already seen this when I show a photograph of it, but, but I almost guarantee that you haven't. So let's take a peek and we'll look at what article 371 has to say. So starting with the scope, 371.1. New article for flexible bus systems was created. All right, so 371.1 says exactly what you think it would say. This article covers flexible bus systems and their associated fittings. Now, quick little shout out here to the company that manufactures this stuff called Envent. They're the ones that gave me these photographs here, so thank you for them to uh, for giving me the permission to use these pictures. So, flexible bus systems. Um, it's a bus bar, and it's flexible. There you go. That's what a flexible bus system is. But but here's the thing. You might think that you have seen this, and you, you, you might have seen something like this inside of equipment. This is not inside of equipment. This is going to be used for getting power from one location to a different location. Remember, this is in Chapter 3, which is wiring methods, not Chapter 4, which is equipment. So this is how to get power from point A to point B. You can see we've got all of these tiny little angel hair sized strands of copper and we braid them together and then they plate over it and then they drill the holes to uh, to match the bolt patterns. I think there's an ASTM standard for the width of the bolts and everything else in switch gear and switch boards and all that. So that's what it actually looks like. Now this photograph here is a bus bar and it is flexible but it's not a flexible bus system. This is something that's used inside of equipment. Now, this new product is going to look similar to this, and it might kind of do the same thing as this, but here in the photograph, this is part of a listed piece of equipment. So this is inside of a transformer, inside of a piece of switch gear, what have you. That's not what this new article covers. Same thing here. Here, if you look at it, Boy, that sure looks and smells and probably tastes just like flexible bus system. But it's not, because that's inside of a listed piece of equipment. Flexible bus system is intended to go like from a transformer to a piece of switch gear. And, and again, this concept is courtesy of my friends at Envent. So coming out of the top of this transformer, we come up with flexible bus system and we install it like on some sort of a tray with, you know, strut or something like that. And then we come down here and we feed the switchboard with the product. So that's kind of what we're looking at with a flexible bus system. So again, remember, this is in chapter three, which is wiring methods. It's not chapter four, which is equipment. So this is a new way to move power through a building. And that's what we have here. Certainly not something that you're going to wire your house with. You're not going to use it for small commercial. This is probably strictly industrial and very, very large commercial. You know, you start getting into customer-owned substations and, and big switch gear and switch boards, and then this, this stuff probably has a role in those applications. So there you have it. New article, Flexible Bus Systems. We'll see you on the next video when we get into Chapter 4. See you then.